Jaeger up sand dunes. Wasn't it Yuga up? Yeah, Jaeger up. No, Yuga up. No, I'm pretty sure it's Jaeger up. Uh, Alright, we'll tell you what guys. What do you what do you reckon it's called? Jaeger up or Jaeger up? Put it on the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're heading down to the sand dunes. Got five cars in the convoy. So it should be pretty good. It's raining at the moment, but it's meant to clear up later. Hopefully it does. We'll see what happens with that. And yeah, I got Peter in the car with me. G'day. He's a bit camera shy. You wouldn't think so, <laughs> not in bad. <laughs> oh, how legendary is this scenery? It is beautiful. I haven't been down here for years, and I'm now that I'm here again, I miss it. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually so green, even though we're just coming out of summer. Alrighty, so long on this trip, we got the Mazda, obviously. Uh, got the Navara with Joel in it. Got Justin in the patrol. Got the BT50 and a Pathfinder. So, fairly mixed bunch. Do you know where we're going yet or what? Nah, that's your job. <laughs> so, it's pretty funny because this trip is actually Joel's trip and I'm actually just tagging oh, along. Okay. So, uh, I actually don't know where we're going. I think I'm getting excited now. We haven't even aired down. I know, but it's coming up. I almost wanted to get my deflator out. <laughs> so, Jackie, what are you going to? 10. 10? Yeah. Left-hand turn, but it didn't exist. So, Joe, what are you going to? Zero. Zero. <laughs> you need every bit of traction you can get, eh? That's it. Run flats. So, Peter, what are you going to? <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to go to zero as well. <laughs> yeah. Just going to pull the plug all the way out. We being me made the executive decision. We're going to ten. <laughs> Shut up, Mikey. Go away. We've got a very safe guy along on the trip here with us. Safety good, first, mate. Good on your juggy, safety first. Someone's taking it for the team. Doesn't mean I know so anything. If we have any recoveries, Juggy's gonna be the uh, head man. That's right. So we just aired down, heading down to Calcut Beach now. Peter dropped my tires to 10 PSI for me. You're welcome, Mikey. I can read the signs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, the signs did recommend going down to 10, so it's probably fair call, really. But. I don't know, it has been raining, so we'll see what the beach is like, might be hard. Very comfortable ride though. Oh, I, very I, I comfortable, must admit. that's for sure. Check this out, I've got a drone that fits on my dash. What's the world coming to? A bit big, isn't it? Oh, it is. Like, I think you should get the next model down, maybe. Yeah, I might have to. Should've got the spark. Should've got the spark. <laughs> so I just had a bit of a play on Cow Cup Hill, just heading down to the beach now. Oh, mate, easy one to walk in the park. Mate, don't you just want to go for a swim when you see that? That does look beautiful. I was being sarcastic, what were you being? No, oh, I, I thought that does look beautiful. Oh, okay. I don't do ocean swimming, so <laughs> I wouldn't have been in there, but... Fair enough. <laughs> oh, here you we can are, stay man. over this side. Oh. We just came down to check out if the uh, Warren River is passable, and considering we crossed it without crossing it, I'd, I'd say it's pretty well, passable, well, like, eh? Hey? Uh, pretty passable. If we want to come this way tomorrow. Sweet, so we might come back this way tomorrow, just like Joel said. Right on cue. Yeah, it's good timing, isn't it? <laughs> Having a bit of a team meeting. <laughs> Going well. So in today's cooking segment, we're getting salmonella! 
Spider from Gosnells is going to do a seven course meal, a six pack and a pie. So how's our salmonella coming along? It's alright, I think there's only going to be a few salmonella bits so far. I might have overcooked it. No, overcooked it. <laughs> Burn it to the crisp. Yeah, but it's looking alright. So this is why I generally don't travel with people because they just don't know how to use your stuff. <laughs> Washing detergent everywhere. So, so I thought it was time. Like it looks a bit. Have another look. It's a pretty grub. <laughs> and sand everywhere. It's just getting better. <laughs> the tub needs a good clean, I reckon. There's always got to be one. Just the front. Put it in front of the back wheel, maybe. Other, other side. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, you I think he was bogging in, though. Yeah, but he had momentum. We just might just do it slow. So, Juggy, how you feeling? Good, mate. I've got my pit crew here. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah, everyone clear. So I'm a little bit concerned because Juggy actually made this bar himself and we're going to winch off it. So Safe as houses. Because you know what they say, safety first. That's right. Yeah, I think it's just the safest way to do it. Yeah. I mean, in all honesty, from here, in a couple of meters, if Juggy just pulls forward, he'd probably just take you straight up. Yeah. What we might do, Juggy, if I get grip on the maxis, maybe if you could just honk it forward a little bit and give us a little toe at the same time. Go, go, go. Right, three, two, one, go. Good job, because your front's up. We're just not sure about your tie-down point. The side steps look pretty strong. Yeah, they do, actually. <laughs> we'll just go around the mirror. This, this is sturdy. <laughs> can we control that? Well, Mikey's auto, so you can take well, it and get some pressure. I'm actually half thinking, what if we flip one of the cars around and winch him that way, and that way always put the max tracks too, so he's got the traction, so it's not all the winch. Because yep. it's an auto, so he can baby it. Can do. Yeah, for sure. Let's use his secret weapon, eh? What do you mean? You should have been using it already. What's that? What's the Diplog. Oh. 
Because he's, he's got a rear locker. So we're pretty stoked we're actually getting to use the gear we pay so much money for. Yeah, yeah that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, that's uh, four cars up, one to go. So we just winch the last one up, probably do the same thing on the next one. It's proven to be a little bit of a tough hill, but it's all good fun. Still got a couple of hours of light left, so there's plenty of time to find a camp. So this is what you do when you're out for driving. You call your family and then video call like, just as they're about to go up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he got shoes on. You're on the YouTube now. You're YouTube famous like me. <laughs> 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 mate, get a real hook. Tiny little thing. Hey, mate, it's fine. You have to get bigger recovery for it. That left hand wheel, like, it needs to reverse, I'd say, because that looks really bad. Back up a little. Just to square it up. We're just gonna have to let him back down the, a little. The rubber actually looks like it's gonna come off. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Just to let it, yeah. That's it. Nice! Sweet! That's better. <laughs> Nicely done! Yeah, you're coming up for some more back step. One, two, three, go. Got your wheels up. Fun part with using Max Shacks, you gotta find them after. <laughs> there should be eight somewhere around here. You sure it's not a rock? No. What's it got? Oh, yeah. Orange rock. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we found all the max tracks. Turns out there's another two somewhere. <laughs> oh, anyway. They could be. You definitely sure you grabbed all yours? Yeah, they're all gone, mate. Wow. <laughs> we could have easily just left two max tracks behind. <laughs> oh, it has to be my one. Uh, hey, Justin. You've got an Irish vehicle, mate. Patrol with a Maverick. Patrick! Patty! <laughs> Patty! <laughs> so it took us a little while but we managed to get up that hill. It that was, was uh, fun. That was good fun. We ended up winching every single car up because it was just the safest because there was a rock right where it kind of steeped up a bit. But oh, I got to use, like Joel said, every single bit of our recovery here pretty Rock's much. Left -hand side on the of that hill. Except for the shovel, which we used Everyone to find the max moving? tracks. Yeah, that was its only purpose. Yeah, only purpose of the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Very nearly drove off without those last two. Oh, I yeah. did a count. Pretty much. We did a head count for the max tracks and we're like, hang on, we're too short. <laughs> That is Track not. building makes it simpler, doesn't it? Well, it would mean that you'd have less of the dip, you can hit it with more speed. Because the dip is what kills you, because you're going to plough your front end straight into yeah. that. Oh. Yeah, because it's yeah. like steep. you're going to do is shovel your sand that way. Yeah. If everybody grabbed a max track or shovel and just... And once we moved it, then go max tracks right up. Yep. Before we even attack I'd the I'd stick the max tracks kind of halfway. I, would, I reckon from the start, so you just got ultimate traction just to... And keep it going. Use them all. This bit just like every single thing, yeah, just we've chuck it out. That way we don't dig up the tracks. We've so only got to get one up there. And then once you get two, then you can daisy like just <laughs> And then do the whole whatever. thing again. Yeah. But it's no rock, so it's... I reckon we just hook up to him. Yeah. Front on the road. Alrighty, so the rough plan is this is the last obstacle we have before getting to camp. So what we're going to try and do is fill up this ditch here <laughs> because as you come over the hill, you just lose all your speed. So just going to fill this up, put max tracks the whole way up, and hopefully we'll get close to the top. And if we get close, we can just winch straight over the edge. So that's the plan. 
Oh, I think the camera could go on a tripod. Other than that. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, you <laughs> so, Joel's down to 6 psi. We've got the Max Track spaced out. We've run over a couple of times to try and harden out a bit. Really don't know what's going to happen here, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon. That's what preparation does for you. Straight up first go, sick. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Yes, you've got it, you've got it. Okay, well, I reckon Winston, I mean, snap from there. Matty. It's funny because he absolutely gets to. A bit of pressure. Hey? <laughs> Nobody's watching. <laughs> Come on, Patty! Patrick! I will not accept defeat! You ready for a tie yet? No! <laughs> I'm gonna pull all that sand down! So I like this spot! I've got a camp here! I'm camping here! <laughs> Patrick just doesn't want to accept defeat, hey. I'm taking a snatch! <laughs> He's taking a snatch! <laughs> I need a turbo! <laughs> so apparently, he's getting a turbo soon, but apparently that's the reason he didn't get up. It is! It is. <laughs> God help me! Alrighty. So we've got the other four cars up. I'm the last car to go up, and Juggy has torn it up like something chronic, so I don't think I'm gonna get it. But I'll get up as far as I can anyway. <laughs> far out. Come on, Patrick. Watch out for leprechauns. <laughs> Oh, you're a tank, Mike. So yeah, like for fun on Saturday nights, I usually kind of just sit on a uh, 45 degree on a sand hill and uh, watch people hook straps up to my car. It's not a Going bad on. pastime, but I think know. they're just organising a um, bridle on the front of Mikey. All right, bridle's hooked up. You should be able to take up the tension now, Juggy. Yep. Righto, on three. You happy? I'm good. Two, three, go. So we're completely soaked. But we've had a good time. That was epic fun, man. I, like, that was the biggest hill we were worried about, like whether we'd get up it, but... That was funny to watch. I wish I had my car today now. Alrighty, so this is where we're planning to camp tonight, just in this sand dune system over here. Nice little flat sheltered area. Yeah, I'm stuffed too. I reckon that was absolute. Just cooking up some Turkish bread with a bit of olive oil, balsamic vinegar. Always goes down a treat. Nice little quick camp snack. <laughs> it is good. Thumbs up, John. Thumbs up from everyone. That's good, boys. Yum. Didn't even have to start a chainsaw. <laughs> nice. Just about broke my wrist, but it was fun. <laughs> they, was like, what um, the heck? Breaker bars. <laughs> what was the one you were saying? <laughs> oh, my key. Well, we've been fighting this drizzle all night. It doesn't really want to go away. It's uh, just hung around. <laughs> it's, but it's not too bad next to the fire. At least you're warm from one side. But just made some scones. They've come up pretty good. A little bit burnt. 
We'll go with crunchy, they're just crunchy. So looking forward to that, almost 10 o'clock, time to hit the sack, but bit of dessert first. Alrighty, got some jam, got some cream, hopefully the boys are happy with that. So pretty much gonna have some dessert and hit the sack, so catch you tomorrow morning.